Hi, I'm James Ward, a developer advocate at TypeSafe. IntelliJ IDEA 13 is out. I wanted to show you how to get started building applications with the TypeSafe Reactive platform and using IntelliJ as your editor to do that. The easiest way to get started building new applications is with TypeSafe Activator. You can get that on TypeSafe.com and you just download it and extract the zip file and then you can run Activator. I'm going to run the UI mode. You can also use it from command line mode. And then I can either create, an, create a new application or open an existing application. I'm going to create a new application. I'm going to use the Hello Play Framework template to start with. And I'm going to put this on my desktop and just hit Create. So now it's created a copy of that template application. And now I'm in the Activator UI. I can read through the tutorial to learn about the application. I can see the compile output, the test output, and the run output of the application. But let's go open this application up in this new version of IntelliJ. So to do that, I've launched IntelliJ 13, and I've installed the Scala and Play Framework plugins. To install those plugins, you can go into Configure, and then Plugins, and then go search for the Scala plugin. Uh, you'll see that I have it installed. To go install it for yourself, you'll go click on Browse Repositories, and then search for Scala, and you'll see it there. There's also a Play plugin. You want to make sure that you get the Play 2.0 plugin here, and that's the one that supports the, the latest version of Play. The Play 2 plugin is only available with the ultimate version of IntelliJ, but what I'm going to show you just requires the Scala plugin. So make sure you have that installed. And then what you can do is just go back here and say Open Project, and then go find this project that I just created. You can do this with any SBT project. It's on my desktop, and there it is, Hello Play. What I'm going to do is select this build.sbt file. So build.sbt, that's the build definition file for this project. I'm going to say, yep, use auto import, and hit OK. So now what this will do is go grab all the dependencies for this project and resolve all those dependencies and then pull the project open into IntelliJ. So I no longer have to create the project files in IntelliJ 13 for this project. IntelliJ automatically knows how to deal with SBT projects. So this project will load up now in IntelliJ. You know, let's go back to Activator. We'll see that the application is now up and running. So let's go open that up in our browser that's running on localhost 9000. So once this compiles and runs, then we'll see the application there. So we should also have also run the test. We can see the test output here. And we can also run the TypeSafe console on this project to see, uh, to be able to introspect what's going on in our application as it's running. So it'll take a second to finish resolving the dependencies here. There it is. And our application is now up and running. So this is just a basic little play application. Let's go back over into IntelliJ and check in and see how it's doing resolving its dependencies. We only have to do this the first time we load a project with that, that uh, long, longer resolve time. But here's our project now open inside of IntelliJ. And you'll see we can get the typical workflow here where if I want to come in and make a change, let's change this from hello to uh, howdy. Howdy from Java. I'm just going to save that file and then come back here and hit refresh and that will automatically recompile that change. And once that change is recompiled, then we'll see that change here in the browser. Just take a second and there we go. Howdy from Java. So, and then you can just do all of your normal code editing right here within IntelliJ. So that's how easy it is to open up projects for the TypeSafe platform in the new IntelliJ IDEA 13. Check it out and let me know what you think. Thanks.